To install your stud bar, you're going to need a cordless drill, a pencil for marking your studs, a ratchet, a 9 16th inch socket, a half inch socket, a 3 16th inch drill bit, which needs to be at least three inches long, just the bit itself to get a good depth into your studs. And also you're going to need a 3 8 inch adapter to turn your drill into a socket driver. When driving your lag bolts, you cannot drive them with the ratchet because it'll over torque them and crack them. Make sure you drive your lag bolts with the electric drill. It applies nice even torque and it, uh, it'll save you a lot of time as well. Stud finder and a tape measure. When installing in a metal stud ceiling or wall, you're going to need a 3 quarter inch drill bit, toggle bolts, quarter inch by four inches long, and these are how you install a stud bar and metal stud. I had located the direction of my studs. They're running this direction on this particular ceiling. I've marked the center of the stud using the stud finder to find the edges of the stud, which is very important. You want to drill into the center of the stud for strength. And then I've gone ahead and measured from one drill point, 32 inches, down to another drill point which matches up with the eight holes that are going to be drilled in the, the T of the stud bar. Then I've gone and taken, I've taken a tape measure and measured 48 inches down ceiling and gone ahead and located each edge and center of the stud and marked it and basically reproduced all four corners of the stud bar as it's going to be affixed to the ceiling. I've also measured from the edge of the ceiling and wall to the first drill point to ensure that the stud bar is going to be even from first drill point to the second drill point. Three sixteenths inch pilot holes. There's going to be eight total. Start with just one. So I have one board, one bolt secured holding the stud bar to the ceiling. I've gone ahead and double checked that I'm center on stud at the other end so that the stud bar is straight. And I'll go ahead and just use the pre-drilled holes as my guides. Now since I'm doing a one, one man installation, this is how I prefer to mount the stud bar. Go ahead and get the bar mounted on one side of the T and that'll help support the other side while we mount it into the studs. So I've gone ahead and re-measured from the center, from the edge of the wall to the edge of the stud bar to make sure that it's even with the other side. And I haven't necessarily relied upon the stud bar to line up perfectly at 48 inches. It does have movement and you can manipulate it to line up perfectly where you want it to. So I've actually had to push it in a little bit to get to where my 48 inch hole centers on the stud. So I actually had to bend this out a little bit to get it to center on 48. Once you get opposing sides mounted and they're all centered, then you can just trust that your pilot holes will be centered. And you'll know when you hit stud or not by just the, the stress of the drill and also the 2x4 will come out with the drill bit just to double check that you made the stud.
right now, just get ripped.